Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed his readiness to participate in the Ironman 70.3 Championship that will be held in Chattanooga in the United States of America after His Highness went through intensive and varied training and stages throughout the last period to prepare before the competition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his aspirations and the members of the Bahraini team to achieve advanced positions and continue the positive results and achievements made during previous participations, demonstrating Bahrain's level in the sport. His Highness hailed their preparations in the past period and expressed determination to make honorable achievements. Expressing a confidence in all the members of the Bahraini team to achieve leading ranks in the World Championship. His Highness noted that the cycling stage is the most challenging, which requires concentration and hard work, affirming the readiness of the team members to complete all the stages despite all challenges. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the fighters in the presence of Colonel Khalid Abdelaziz Al Khayyat, member of Bahrain Olympic Committee Board of Trustees and President of BMMAF, Mohammed Shaheen, CEO of Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts Organization, and a number of BMMAF members at the KHK MMA Sports Hall. His Highness expressed his pride of the latest achievements of Bahrain National Amateur MMA Team Fighters in the Amateur Tournament of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation Africa Open MMA Championship held in Johannesburg in South Africa on September 1st to 2nd. Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the team members on the unprecedented achievement for the Bahraini MMA sports and conveyed to them the greetings of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness praised the Bahraini team for winning two gold medals and four silver, asserting that it reflects the improvement and development achieved by the Bahraini MMA fighters who reached advanced international levels in the game. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that this achievement complements the successful march of MMA sports in Bahrain since 2015. He attributed the achievements and success to the support of the wise leadership and His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He added that the remarkable result pushes the team to further prepare for the fourth IMMAF World Championship that will take place in Bahrain on November 12th to 19th this year. The American University of Bentley hosted Bahrain's ambassador to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, on Tuesday as a guest of honor in a meeting with over 200 college students. Sheikh Abdullah talked about the values of coexistence and tolerance in Bahrain, including religious tolerance, which is rooted in the Bahraini society for hundreds of years. He added that these values promoted by the reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa have protected the kingdom against attempts to destabilize its security and stability. He added that Iran is leading the attempts to mislead the youth into committing acts of extremism, arming and training them to carry out terrorist operations. Sheikh Abdullah said that the Iranian threat represented by the Iranian system and the Revolutionary Guard not only affects Bahrain or the Arab world, but also extends to threatening international peace and security. He noted that this threat stems from the Iranian constitution, which calls for exporting the revolution, adding that Iran will not change unless it renounces this concept, starts acting like a part of the peaceful international community, and respect the international law and the United Nations Charter, as well as the values of sovereignty, neighborliness, and non-interference in the internal affairs of foreign countries. Sheikh Abdullah noted that Iran has threatened peace in Bahrain by supporting radical groups, but the democratic process in the kingdom, inaugurated by his majesty to the king, which comprises of the rule of law, separation of powers, and popular representation, have protected the kingdom against the attempts to destabilize its security. He noted the issuance of the United Family Law after its approval by the representatives and Shura councils, which reflects the openness of the Bahraini society and the effectiveness of political action in achieving democracy. He continued by saying that this historic law is a representation of the reform approach of His Majesty the King, who was keen to enable women and protect their rights. The ambassador noted that Bahrain has a rich history in enabling women, noting their effective participation in society. 
He added that women were granted the right to vote in the 50s of the last century, which makes Bahrain a leading country in the Gulf to provide women with all their political rights. In conclusion, Sheikh Abdullah advised the students to work hard to achieve their dreams, wishing them success in their educational and professional lives. Expat Insider 2017 survey report said Bahrain is the most popular destination in the world for expatriates. The global survey said the kingdom has been given high marks by its expats as a place to work and raise a family and for making foreigners feel welcome. Nearly 9 in 10 expats, or 87%, said they are happy with their lives in Bahrain, a country that offers them everything they need. Expat Insider is one of the largest surveys worldwide, offering an in-depth analysis of expat life across the globe. The score is an impressive jump for Bahrain, which ranked 19th last year, barely making the top 20 in 2016. However, improvements across all indices that factor into the ranking have seen Bahrain take pole position in 2017. The study said that Bahrain really excels in making expats feel at home, and the country tops the ease of settling an index. It also comes first for being able to get by without learning the local language. In fact, a quarter of expats in Bahrain said they started feeling at home almost straight away. This is particularly impressive given that a third of respondents in Bahrain have never lived abroad before. Not only does Bahrain rank third in the Working Abroad Index, it's also second in the Job and Career as well as Work-Life Balance subcategory. While Bahrain's position in the Cost of Living Index remains almost the same, 28th place, it improved by 13 places in the Personal Finance Index to take the 13th spot.